Let's feed some hungry spiders. This one's Brachypelma amelia, Mexican red leg. Got it. And we'll do another one. And this is a Gramostola pulchra, Brazilian black. Good one. Everybody's hungry today. That's good. And this one recently molded about a week and a half ago, so it should be really hungry. This is my salmon pink bird eater, the Lassiodora parahybana. And she absolutely was. Crunch. This thing's putting on size pretty quickly. I'm pretty impressed with how fast it's growing. It should be my biggest spider one day. And we'll move on to another one. This one's always hungry for Mictopus species South Hispaniola, the Caribbean Emerald. <laughs> always ready to eat. Look how blue she's looking, very cool. And we'll try some more. And this is Brachiopelma bomi, the Mexican fire leg. And she's starting to look pretty colorful after her recent molt. Let's see if she'll take a cricket. And of course she does. Love those brackies. And let's try one more little sling. Then we'll move on to the big guys. And this awesome looking thing is a Harpictera pulcher piece. Golden blue leg baboon. Crunch. Got it. Let's move on to something a little bit bigger. And this next one is non-do Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian black and white. You missed. There you go, crunch. And we'll do another one. And this is Brachiopelma homori, pretty recently molted, looking awesome. And we'll see if she will take a super worm. This is the Mexican red knee. Get it. Look how cool she looks. And she's got it. Good job. That's a big meal for her. She pretty recently molted. You can fatten her up a little bit. She's looking good. And we'll try another one. And if you know your tarantulas, this one's probably pretty easy for you based on those colorations. This is a Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, the green bottle blue. And immediate takedown. Crunch. Always willing to take a meal. Very cool, and we'll move on to another one. And this is my Aphonopelma hensi, the Texas brown. And she prefers cricket, so let's see if she'll take one. All right. She's a little defensive. She doesn't really like me poking around in her enclosure. Not all of Phonopelmas are puppy dogs. And we'll move on to another one. And this lovely girl is an Acanthoscuria geniculata. Brazilian white knee. And she's always hungry. <laughs> She's a crazy good eater. Look at her. And we'll do another one. And this is a Brachypelma albopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. And she is a crazy ferocious eater. And she took her water bottle and put it inside of her hide. And I need to figure out a way to get it without her flipping out. So maybe we will distract her with some food and then we'll go in after it. Okay, part one, distraction. Here we go. in there, damn it. Oh, 
She might have found that. Holy cow, she did. Check that out. Well, that's awesome. I didn't have to go in and get it. She found it. Very cool. Huh. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get her water bottle, so I might have to give her another one for now. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. What do you think the chances are? Ooh, I got it. I'm glad I didn't have to go fishing for that mealworm. I can't believe she found it and dug it out of there. That's pretty cool. Good job. And we'll try another one. And this is a nondochromatis female, Brazilian red and white. She's usually a little bit defensive, but a pretty good eater. And she takes it down immediately. And this is a Hatagenes troglodytes, African flat rock scorpion. There you go. And you pretty much have to hand feed these things. She never really wants to go chase her meal. So I pretty much have to put it right in her claws for her. She's pretty neat looking though. I'm pretty sure that's all that's going to eat right now, so I appreciate you guys watching. Please feel free to comment, like the video, dislike the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.